In this video I'm going to show you a little program I made to explore the cafe wall illusion. So when you look at these black and white tiles, you should get the impression that the rows are sort of slanting down to the right. But in fact they're all perfectly parallel and horizontally flat. Um, you can play with a bunch of different values here. You can change the color of the grout between them. You can make it all the way white or all the way black, anywhere in between. And you can change the values of either tile. You can make them all white or all black or anything else in between. Uh, you can also change the aspect ratio of these tiles. You can make them different widths, different heights. And if you want to just change the size of the tiles while keeping them square, you can take advantage of a little bug that I sort of left in purposefully in the way I programmed these sliders. Click on one of them while still holding down the mouse, move over to the other one on top of it, and you'll be able to move both at once. And I've lined them up so that that will produce different size squares. Uh, you can change the width of the grout and the displacement of the tiles here. So this is how much grout there is. And this slider is how much the rows are displaced. Now, it's important to notice in this particular program, if you put the mouse over the tiles themselves, you gain mouse position control of those two sliders. So you see as I move the mouse left to right, the tile displacement slider is actually moving. And if I move the mouse up and down, the grout width slider is moving. So this allows you to sort of play around. I thought this was a nice way to interact with it. You can see that there is no illusion when they're all perfectly aligned, and then if you go slightly off, you start to see these interesting different angles. You go all the way, it goes flat again, etc. Uh, so moving your mouse around here it will never change the size of the squares, but it will change the spaces between them and the way that they are displaced. Um, and you can change those down here manually as well. And then there's these buttons, and these buttons change uh, the setup of the tiles. So right now it's in the zigzag mode, so you can see that uh, one row basically stays still, the next one moves a bit, the third one moves the most, and then it goes back down again. So it's like every five rows this pattern repeats, and this gives you kind of a zigzag effect, right? You can also do alternating, so every other row moves and every other row stays still. And this gives you sort of a narrowing effect. It looks like the rows are getting thinner towards one side. Or you can do every row where they just each move more and more down, giving you a diagonal. This is interesting because again you can see they all appear to be sloping a particular way, and then that effect goes away when they're lined up, and then they slope the other way. So some things to play around with this. Um, it seems that the grout is really necessary for the illusion to be uh, very strong. If you line it up like this. There's maybe a little bit of an effect, but not very much, but as soon as you start to add just a little bit of grout, you can see those diagonals really start to show. And if you add too much grout, again it goes away. So it seems to definitely depend on having a thin line of grout there. An earlier version of this effect was demonstrated by Professor Hugo Munsterberg, who was a German-American psychologist, back in around 1900 or so, I think. It was called the Munsterberg figure, and it involved tiles that were a bit more rectangular, they alternated, and there was no grout. Or the grout was the same color as the dark tiles, I guess. So it looked something like this. Maybe a bit smaller. Sorry. Oop. There you go. Now, I don't get very much effect from this, but allegedly you should see uh, the rows getting narrower towards one side or the other. Kind of a zipper style effect here. Uh, and the full cafe wall illusion with the grout in there was popularized by Professor Richard Gregory of Bristol University uh, back in the 70s. And I actually have a photo of the original cafe wall. I'll try to show you if you can see that. Uh, that's the professor himself standing in front of that little wall down there that has the tile pattern I hope you'll recognize. One of his students in his lab I guess walked by that cafe and thought it looked strange and they started looking into it. And there you have the cafe wall effect. You can also play with uh, the effect of the different values of tiles. You can see if they're all the same color, there's no effect. If they're all the same brightness. And I believe if they're both brighter than the grout or darker than the grout, it also doesn't work as well. So it really seems necessary for them to span over the value of the grout for the effect to really show up. Not much, not much, not much. And then as soon as you pass the grout, you start to have these diagonal impressions. So 
So there you have it. I recommend you play around with this a bit, see what you can see, and enjoy the Cafe Wall Illusion. Hope you like it.